Well, here's an update on the uh, 1450 Cup Cadet. Uh, and I here working on her. Had to, uh, took the carburetor off, had to clean the carburetor. It hadn't been cleaned since I had sold it the first time. A piece of gas line. Had to change some wires around on the new wiring harness. Some of the wires were wrong. Put on the new governor linkage that come with it. The new, uh, this little piece back here. It already had a new spring on it. Uh, new muffler. I reset it and got it in there level like it's supposed to be. Then I gotta put a bolt back in that. That damn bolt rattled out. It either wasn't tight enough or something, but. Got that done. I pulled the hydro tunnel cover because I'm going to set this. Because neutral is just a little bit in reverse. You get in plumbing neutral. But oh, and it's laning because it has a flat tire on it. I'm going to uh, try to break that, take that wheel off and break that bead tomorrow so I can uh, get the uh, shit. Oh, because I fixed the little part where it's leaking. Because I think it'll hold air if I can get that rim leak fixed. But yeah. There it is. Let's see if I can see the tree. You're probably done on it. Right. Look too bad. It's pretty good to me. New springs and stuff. It's pretty good to me. Yeah, but uh, let's see if you'll head to lick. <clears throat> I don't know, let me turn the gas. I don't want the gas to pull out of the car in a minute. Okay, yeah, I got it running. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And new ISO mounts. Don't know if I showed in my last video or not. With the uh, cradle modification, and that's gas down there. Where the car, the jet, I'm well, not the uh, jet, but the uh, shit. Uh, thing the float goes in. I can't think of the name of it right offhand, but it's screwed out, and the float was sticking, and it's kept on and on getting gas, and gas run out. So it had like a quarter tank of gas in it. When I come out this morning, it had like none in it because I forgot to shut the fuel off. But you know, here this issue hit a lick. Alrighty, neutral. Pretty close to it anyways. Choke. Oh. Yeah. I'm probably getting gas because it's on the, the side and there ain't much gas on it. But. But there it is, and that ain't smoke. Even though I first glanced, I thought it was. It's a blue gas jug. But uh, like I said, new rag joints. I mean, she's pretty sweet, and I know it has a uh, brand new Hytran and stuff in it, and filter, because I changed it like, I think a month before I sold it, so, I'm, the Hytran I know was good, because I checked it to make sure it was still alright, and, yep, everything's alright with it. Got the side panels hanging up where they were originally hanging when I first got it, when I was working on it. But I'm happier than a possum eats yet. Tell tell you what. Let me see. Low beam? Or swear it is. High beam. Low beam? High beam. Low beam? Off. Pretty sweet. And I still got, like I said, the ground wire come off this one. I got a model short 516 bolt, so I got to get some. I'm gonna look around and see if I can find the one I dropped. Cause I thought I had dropped it right down in here in the shield, but I never did find it. But yeah. New decals, that's what really sets the old baby off. Gotta repaint this and stuff. 
Actually, this is where I painted the first time. Yeah, hydraulic lift and everything still works all right. Just, just like I had it when I had it. Oh, this thing drives. I swear this is the best cub I've ever drove in my life. Where it has all that new linkage and stuff in it, there is no slop whatsoever. I mean, it has all many new parts on it. It's just about like a brand new cub. But yeah. But I know this video is getting pretty long, and uh, yeah, I reckon I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.